Hello, what's up, and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Dawkins 24 7 production. And today, we got some more San Antonio Bulls Dynasty just for y'all in season number four. And the start off season number four has not been going our way. We had a tough loss versus Georgia, then we traveled to Florida, we lost there. Now we're at the big house in Ann Armor, taking on number 25. Michigan. They come in 2 0. We are 0 2. And then after this, we got Texas AM. The schedule don't get no easier, man. So hopefully, we can have a very good showing here in Ann Arbor taking on the Wolverines. First play of the ball game. They're going to do a handoff to my man Collins. He's going to break one tackle. Nice little spin move. Gets up after a gain of about six. And now to give us a Collins again. Breaks through the line of scrimmage and almost took that thing to the crib. Big time stop right there by Nobles. Now, Howard looking. Fathers went over to the Tied in. That's Lawson who makes the catch. Gonna get brought down by Bracey. Now Collins knows to play fake. Howard gonna fire this one over to the right side. That's gonna be caught, but they do not give him forward progress. So third and in inches, they give it to Harvey, and the big time receiver makes a big time play. Whenever you wear number one at Michigan, you gotta be a stud. Collins, he gets the carry, making a couple of people miss, gets into the secondary, breaks a tackle, and finally gets brought down at the 20 yard line. Now up that got with Douglas, and Douglas gonna take that thing to the crib. The big fullback dances his way into the end zone, and just like that, it is seven nothing at the big house. Now we get the ball to Wise, and Wise makes a man miss. Nice little juke move, and he gets this thing up for a gain of about nine. Now we can give this thing to Wise again. Up that guy, he's gonna break a couple of tackles and pick up a first down. Now we get the ball to Cooper, the true freshman, number two high school running back last year, and he's gonna pick up a nice little gain of six. So second to four speed option. We got Campbell, and mm -mm, it's good as Tony Campbell gets this thing down the sideline, and now we're in Michigan territory. Drop him at the pass, Campbell. Campbell looking, firing this one deep into the end zone, and that's gonna be intercepted. He was trying to find Fabian Spicer, but just overthrew him, and that is gonna do it for that drive. So Michigan, they get their hands on the ball, and they're gonna take over from their own five-yard line. Howard with time, sits pretty in the pocket, gonna find Brown, and Brown makes the catch over the middle and picks up a fresh set of downs. Now toss play to Collins, and he gets brought down by Bracey, but it looks like Bracey got a handful of face masks, so that will be a penalty. Personal foul, face mask, tack on 15 yards plus a first down. Up that got with Douglas, the big fullback. And you know these Big Ten teams, they love to use the fullback. First down, Michigan. Howard looking, gonna find Lawson. The tight end makes a couple people miss. Now he's breaking tackles left and right. Picks up the first down, and now they're in SAU territory. Collins, he wiggles through traffic, and he's gonna pick up a first down. Gets brought down by Nobles on the plane. Up that got and a huge hit by Bracey. That's why I like to see this linebacker he stepped his game up versus Florida and now he's looking to have a big game here versus Michigan but Collins he's able to get away from the front seven gets into the secondary and picks up another first down play action Howard looking over the middle he's gonna find his man and that's going to result in a gain of about nine now second and one another play fake head to the end zone and that pass I uh, 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 get that thing about it here as that thing gets batted down. Now they're going to do a, a look, it looked like a toss play, but it really, it really was a pass as Collins gets his hands on it. He's going to pick up a first down. So first and goal from the two Collins headed to the end zone, and that's their second rushing touchdown of the game so far. One by the fullback Douglas, and now Collins gets into that. So we start from our own one yard line after we fumbled the kickoff out of bounds. So second and nine, we're going to give this thing to Thompson, and Thompson barely gets out of the end zone. Third and nine from the two-yard line. Campbell in a rollout. Campbell with time looking, looking for throwing. Got to get this one out of his hands, and he does. Fabian Spicer, big catch, and now he has some breathing room. Gain of 30 on the play. Now we're going to find Campbell on a little speed option. He's going to pick up only about three on that one. Second and seven, we get the ball to Cooper. Cooper, he gets chopped down before he can get going, and now it's going to be third and six. Campbell looking under pressure, and that one gets batted away, and SAU is forced to punt for the first time today. Remember, that first drive ended after the interception, but look at Bracey gets his hands on the football. This young man is trying to be the best linebacker in the country. 
Collins up that guy. He's going to get brought down after no gain on the play. And now Howard looking to fire this one to the flat. And guess who's Johnny on the spot with another huge hit? My man Bracey gets there. And that is going to result in a three and out. So why is he gets to carry? And again, why is he's kind of in the doghouse? Because he has not been performing. There goes Cooper. And Cooper, he might be taking over the starting running back position. You're going to have to wait and see. Cooper with another carry gets up field but gets chopped down after he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Now second down. Campbell going to roll out to the right side. Stops. Pops. And he overshoots his antenna receiver. That's the tight end green. The true freshman. Campbell looking deep down the field. In double coverage. And Gilmore makes the clutch reception. Big time catch right there by Gilmore. And that is exactly the type of spark that this team needed. Hopefully this can result in a much needed touchdown. Campbell going to do the speed option. Doesn't pitch in. He's going to get dropped in the backfield. Three yard loss. Second and 13 now. Campbell rolling to the right side. Going to tuck it and run. Going to use his speed to pick up a gain of about eight. And that's going to set up third and five from the nine. Campbell with time. Fires just went over the middle on a slant route to Gilmore. Touchdown, SAU. And we finally get on the board. So 14 to 7 is the score. They get the ball to Collins, but there's nothing but SAU white jerseys all around him. Now they're going to find Collins out of the backfield. Huge hit again. That's his third big hit. Bracey is a man on a mission tonight. Dropping back the pass over the middle. And that pass is nearly intercepted. That's going to set up second and 10. But John Harvey, the big time receiver, he is out with a broken leg. So he is not coming back. Howard, he's going to take off and run. Gets brought down by Bracey. And right now, Bracey has eight tackles and we're only in the first half. So he is having an incredible ball game so far. Hopefully, he can keep it going. And hopefully, he can lead this defense again. Some stops and getting the ball back to the offense with some excellent field position. So now they're going to give the ball to Collins. And we get another strip with Bracey. And this dude gets tackled number nine. And that's going to result in a punting situation. So Campbell and offense takes over with about a minute to go. Taking a shot deep downfield. And that, that pass was nearly intercepted. Now second and 10. Campbell looking. Campbell going to roll out. Campbell under pressure. And Campbell finally goes down after he picks up a gain of one. So it's third and nine from the 20-yard line. Campbell going to take a shot deep to Fabian Spicer who makes the catch. Move those chains for the Bulls. SAU is marching down the field. Going to find Gilmore on the slant route. And Gilmore is going to pick up a first down as well. And now at the 41-yard line of Michigan. To give us to Thompson. And Thompson trying to use his speed to get to the outside. But these Big Ten defenses have some speed themselves. Campbell going to take a shot deep to Spicer. Gets a foot inbounds. Makes the catch. Ball is placed at the three-yard line. Huge pass play right there by Campbell. And an even better catch to keep a foot inbounds by Fabian Spicer. So now Campbell looking, and that's going to be intercepted, and that is not what we want to see. We had a chance to at least get a field goal, but he tried to hit Fabian Spicer on the slant, but that will result in a interception. So there goes Collins breaking tackles, gets up to the 40-yard line, and now Michigan is thinking about putting some points on the board. Only 16 seconds left. Howard over the middle, going to find his man, and that's going to be caught by Johnson, and he's going to pick up a fresh set of downs. Now Howard to the right side. He tried to scramble, but he's going to get brought down for a sack. Williams on the sack right there, and now it's going to be a last-ditch effort with no time left on the clock. Howard looking. He's going to tuck it and run. Breaks a tackle. Bracey's coming his way. Nice tackle right there to bring down the quarterback, and that will do it for the first half of play. So 14 to 7 is the score going into halftime. It could be a lot worse, but it also could be a lot better. Two first half interceptions by Tony Campbell. That has us in the deficit by seven. But hopefully, with some running game, if we can get the running game going with wise, maybe we have a chance. Now we're gonna give this thing to Cooper. Cooper on a direct snap, and Cooper steps out of bounds one yard short of the first down mark. So on third and inch, we give the ball to Cooper up that guy. And Cooper's gonna pick up the first down. Six carries over 40 yards for Cooper. Another carry right here. Puts it on the turf though, but Washington is Johnny on the spot as he recovers the fumble. Second and four. Speed option. Wise can't handle it, and we finally jump on top of it. So back-to-back -back fumbles have us looking at a third and seven. Campbell rolling out. Campbell throws one back across his body, and that pass will fall incomplete. So Michigan, they take back over. Collins right up that gut. Gashes this defense for a gain of about eight. Call it nine. Second and one. Big hit on the play by Bracey. Unfortunately, that was a play fake. They find Douglas, the big 
fullback. He gets this one up to the 40 yard line, and that's going to pick up a fresh set of downs. Collins gets away from Bracey. Collins into the second day, and that's a touchdown saving tackle by Jesse Graham. So Collins is having a big day on the ground. Michigan's having a big day on the ground in general, and Bracey gets in there. Looked like it was going to be a halfback pass. He gets in there. Look at his total. He has 21 tackles in about two and a half games. Right there, the pass gets tipped, and that goes into the hands of a Michigan player, and that's going to result in a nice little game. So now it's third and five, going to a wide open man in the flat. That's Johnson makes the catch, and that's going to result in a first down for the Wolverines. Now Collins up that guy, breaking tackle, stays on his feet, and picks up a gain of about seven. So second and three, play action pass. Howard over the middle, going to find Brown, and Brown gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan, and now it is a 21-7 ball game big time play right there by the wolverines the crowd is excited we have to get something going quick fast and in a hurry so wise up that guy that doesn't work he has six carries for 13 yards that's just that's just pathetic there's no way to cut it that's just pathetic right there they do speed option that goes no another third down situation my man campbell's rolling out taking a shot deep and that pass falls to complete so we go three and out and that is not what we needed to do so they looks like a miscommunication on our play it's a broken play but howard is still able to pick up some positive yards so a gain of eight on a broken play and now howard play action pass he's gonna tuck it and run again he gets away from bracy finally gets brought down at about the 22 21 yard line first and 10 up that guy no it's a sack by Bracey gets in there his first sack of the season drop back the pass and again it's Bracey and no that is not a replay that's back to back sacks by this outstanding inside linebacker Howard taking a shot deep and it's caught by Brown how do you explain that Basically, in double coverage, fits this one in between the safety and the linebacker, and Brown keeps a foot and bounds, and then Collins gets away from Lott, gets into the end zone, touchdown Wolverines, and now it's 28 to seven. And once again, we give the ball to Cooper. He goes nowhere. This running game is absolutely awful right now. Gonna take a shot deep to Spicer, and he can't catch up to it. Looked like he got uh, interfered with, but they don't call it. Campbell, looking. Campbell gonna take a shot deep. That's gonna be caught by Lewis, who puts it on the turf. So right when he thought we had a chance to get back into this ball game, a big catch by Lewis would have got us up to the 47 yard line he puts it on the turf and now Michigan has a chance to add to their lead taking a shot deep and nobody goes for the pick what is going on in our secondary that is awful second and 10 from the 47 yard up that got with Collins and Collins he's gonna pick up a first down move those chains for the Wolverines as they continue to march down the field Howard on first and 10 gonna find his man Brown in the flat he's able to get this one upfield for a gain of about eight second down now Howard needs to pick up two he does he finally gets brought down by Bracey who has been everywhere the only bright spot in this game has been Bracey dropping back the pass gonna find Collins in the flat gets brought down by Lee and Bracey who combined on the tackle but he picks up a gain of six in the process going to the flat again and Collins picks up a first down so this team is just marching the ball methodically down the field and now Howard under pressure lets it go gonna find Douglas in the flat and Douglas the fullback gets into the end zone for the second time today one on the ground one through the air so we are just getting demolished here in Ann Arbor we're gonna get this thing or Eric Dickinson excuse me gets the kick return up to the 26 27 yard line so first then 10 Campbell up that guy that was a design keeper but I don't think it was meant to go right up the gut but he's gonna pick up a nice set of yards and that's gonna result in a fresh set of damage so nice play right there by Campbell. Now it's first and 10 from the 47. Campbell looking. Campbell going to fire this one over the middle. That's going to be caught by Fabian Spicer. And Fabian Spicer makes another catch on the ball game. Campbell looking. Going to roll out. Campbell stops. Pops looking for Fabian Spicer who's open again in the middle of the field. Makes another catch. Five catches. 147 yards for Fabian Spicer. Now Cooper. My man Cooper gets it to the end zone. Touchdown SAU. But it looks like it's too little too late. So Michigan, they take over after the onside kick. Stewart, the backup quarterback, as a matter of fact, they have all the backups in, and Stewart is running around like Cordell Stewart used to do back in the day, just running all over defenses. Here he goes again. He's going to get brought down by Bracey, but Nante picks up a gain of about eight. So second down and two. Looking to the outside, and that pass will fall incomplete, trying to hit Brown. Up that gut nose to play fake. Stewart throwing this one. Should have been intercepted by Bracey, but he bats that one down. They're going to have to set up for a field goal. Kick us up. 
kick is good and that is going to make it a 38 to 14 ball game Campbell is still in taking on the Michigan second teamers Campbell looking gonna fire this one deep to Thompson who has the speed but can't make the catch and he took a pretty big hit on that one play action pass and that was a dumb play call why do a play action? Third and 17. Now from the 14 yard line, Campbell looking. Campbell taking a shot deep to Gilmore, and that's going to be intercepted. And that is going to wrap this one up. The second team, Michigan defense, slams the door shut, put a couple of nails in it, and this thing is over. So 38 to 14 is the final. Michigan, they move on to 3 and 0. Oh. We move on to 0 oh and 3. Michigan did work at the big house. We are struggling for wins right now. Next week, we will be taking on Texas A&M. And then after Texas A&M, we have Miami of Ohio. Hopefully, we can beat Texas A&M. If we don't beat Texas, uh, Texas A&M, we better beat Miami of Ohio. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyways, man, that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. I enjoyed bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see you all later. Peace. Hot sauce.